Hey YouTube, uh, as the title suggests, um, are the Vito PB4 bags really worth it? Uh, I know I had to give it a bit of thought before purchasing uh, those, but I do have a set of five of these bags. Um, I'll just run you through them now. Uh, on my Tech XL, I have one bag. Uh, on my TP4, I have one bag. Um, this is not on all the time, it's just it basically goes with the, the stapler. Um, I'll go through that later. On my Tech LC, I have one bag. And my Tech OTMC for plumbing, uh, I have two of these. I'm not sure if you can see it in there. But I'll go through them uh, separately, um, just in the next part, just to show you what I use them for. And if they're any good. Okay, so on the, uh, the Tech XL here, uh, this is a general maintenance bag. Um, I do have another video detailing what I use this bag for and what's in it. Uh, but I do have one PB4 bag on the side of this. Okay, so here it is. Uh, fairly small bags. They fit nicely in your hand. The first thing you notice about these is the quality. I mean, they're really really tough, that would take a bit of doing to, to rip that. The zips are, you know, the typical Vito quality. Uh, you got the Vito Pro Pack uh, badge there, logo there. Nice, really tough uh, material. It just complements the bags. Uh, yeah, so in this, this particular bag for general maintenance, um, just quickly run through. Uh, Earth sleeving, isolation valve, and it's just a quick backhoe pipe slice, and, and loads of Wago connectors. Um, I mean, the reason I can't, there's not that much small pockets in the, the Tech XL. Uh, well, not small pockets, but pockets that would fit this type of things in uh, to be easily accessible, so that's why I use this. Yeah, I carry a lot of uh, Wego connectors in here because they're, as you can see, they're really small, you know, kind of small fiddly. There's also uh, cable clips, just sort of small parts. Um, so what this replaces is, uh, I'll show you this now. Hold on. Yeah, so typically uh, I carry most of my electrical connectors in these types of boxes. This is a Dewalt T-Stack. I use a lot of these, you know, for different small parts. Um, but as opposed to carrying this on, into a small, you know, maintenance type job, uh, I decided, you know, get one of these, one of the small pouches, take a couple of each connector, put it in the bag, uh, along with some other bits and pieces. Uh, and this, this small bag effectively replaces this whole box, you know. So it's all about efficiency, you know, all about ease of movement, really. Um, I mean, this stays in the van, so if you were in the job and if you didn't have enough connectors or, or whatever, you know, it's not a big deal to run down the van and get one, but ideally you would just use the, the connectors out of this. Uh, so this bag attached to my Tech XL is, you know, it's uh, ideal for me, really efficient. Okay, so the Tech LC now, um, this is my uh, electric bag if you like. I have one of, the, one of the PB4 bags attached to the side, which is this. Again, it's very similar to what I, what I have in the last bag with the Tech XL. Again, this bag here is effectively replacing this box. Instead of me having to carry this box onto site, I can carry this box, this uh, PB4. Again, if you can see in there, it's pretty much two or three of each individual type of uh, connector, plus some cable clips, you know, earth sleeving. I do have a couple of TV connectors in here as well. Just any, I mean, you can, I, I can add to this anytime I want, you know, anything, any type of specific job I know I'm going to and I need small parts, you know, just chuck them in here. Yeah, it's all about not having to carry, you know, or four boxes with you and make multiple trips to the van. 
hence being more efficient, faster at uh, completing the job, and you know, basically making more money, you know. Um, time is money, as everybody says, so this is a time saver for me. Yeah. Okay, so the next one, um, it's for the moment it's attached, attached to my TP4, this is a fencing bag. Again, I've got another video detailing what I use this for and how I've got it set up. Uh, but I do do some, you know, fencing jobs that do require staples, you know, wire. Yeah, chicken wire, for example. So, I've got a manual, uh, you know, staple gun there. And this bag attaches to the actual staple gun and the TP4. And it basically carries you know, all the staples I need for the gun. Again, this, for me, this solves the, the problem of carrying small parts. Um, you know, in the past, if the, I've had to use boxes, you know, like the DeWalt one I just show, showed you, but these are ideal, ideal size. And they keep everything contained, they're tough, they're light. You know, um, I can't say enough about them, to be honest, really. Really good. I think as well, when they're on the Vito bags, they, 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 they just sort of blend in with the bag. They, they just look the part, you know. They're... It's a bit sad, but <laughs> I think they look nice. I think the same material, same sort of colour. Uh, nice Vito logo there. No, I don't think you can go wrong with these. You know, I dare say over time, um, you can change the use of these, obviously, uh, for more specific needs or different jobs that are going to go on that you know you're going to want. I mean, you could fill this with small screws, even small tools, anything like that, any, you know, anything small uh, that, that you could get lost in, in these types of bags. So yeah, that's that one. Yeah, this is my uh, Tech OTMC uh, open tote bag. This is uh, what I use for plumbing. Again, I've got another video on this and how I've got this set up and what I carry in it. Uh, but I do, I have two of the PB4 bags on this, basically because this bag's a great bag but it, it suffers from lack of, you know, small part storage, if you like. Um, it does have this centre container, <clears throat> which again, you could pile everything in there but you're going to get back to the old scenario of, you know, all your different parts stacked on top of each other. If you need something, you can you're pretty much going to have to empty the whole thing out. It defeats the purpose, really. So these are a solution to me uh, for me. Uh, all I carry in these are pretty much pipe slices. A couple of these uh, Z keys. You know, it's just just handy to jump in there, take out your pipe slices instead of like rummaging about in here or. Having it in the bottom, here with all the stuff on top of it. You know, it may seem trivial, but when you're on the job, it does, it makes a big difference. Yeah, just being able to unzip this and, and take them out. This one, pretty similar. I've got a few uh, box spanners for monoblock taps. And just pipe slices for, you know, waste pipe, 32mm and 42mm. Yep, so they're ideal, attached to the side of the bag. It does away with the, the small part storage in this bag. Again, I'll say it again, this is pretty much useless. Um, for me, anyway. I don't want to be piling everything on top, top of that, so... These are ideal. Okay, so overall, what's my general uh, thinking on these? Uh, I would say they're worth the money. Um, I mean, they're, they're £45 each for... Uh, not £45 each, sorry, uh, £45 for the set, uh, which works out about £9 each. I mean, you're not going to get much for £9 in this day and age. Uh, I dare say you can get similar sort of bags, you know, lesser makes for, for cheaper, but these are going to these are gonna last a, a lot longer, I would think. Uh, yeah, I would certainly recommend them. Um, I'll leave a link in the description under my video. Uh, to where you get these. Uh, I think I got these from it was Beasley Tools. 
uh, from Am through Amazon. Um, they seem to be the best sort of supplier. Um, so, if you're interested, uh, I'll leave the link. Okay, so do I think these are worth it? Uh, I'd have to say yes. Um, I mean, £45 for the sets does seem a lot of money for small bags, but £9 each. You know, the efficiency these bring, uh, the, you know, they solve some problems for me anyway. Um, I, think they're, I think they're good. Uh, they're available from Beasley Tools uh, through Amazon. And I'll leave a link in the description if, if you're interested in these. Um, no, I would certainly recommend them. Okay, thanks for watching guys. Uh, hopefully this has given you an insight into the, the PB4 bags in real life, you know. It's very difficult when you're looking at a picture on the internet to, to visualise these, but hopefully you can see from my, the size of my hand that they're... You know, that's a standard size one. Just like a large pencil case, really. Um, no, great bags. Uh, highly recommended by myself. Okay, hopefully you found some use out of this video. Um, as always, give me a like, subscribe if you feel you would enjoy these types of videos going forward. Uh, and for my newfound subscribers, uh, I think I'm nearly at 10 now, it's amazing. Um, just thanks very much, uh, much appreciated guys. Okay, thanks again.